Hey guys, today we we're talking about how to find the perfect cologne to fit your style. What's up guys, welcome back to Gen Slimes. I'm George, this is Blake. If you have not hit that subscribe button yet, please do that right now. Today we are talking all about how to find the perfect fragrance for your style. So everybody lives in a different part of the country. Everybody has a different style. Everybody has a different job. Everybody lives a different life. So not every fragrance is going to work for you. So someone like me, I have a variety of different colognes. It depends on my mood and my style. I try to match my cologne for my actual style that day. So today we have partnered with our friends over at Scentbird for another video. We have done videos with them in the past. We've showed you how many sprays are in an actual bottle. But if you guys don't know Scentbird already, they are a subscription for colognes, fragrances, and now skincare products and some lifestyle products as well. So what's great about Semper is they send you a month's supply of any cologne that you would like to try. They have a variety of brands from Aqua de Parma, Tom Ford, Bentley, Clive Christian, Burberry, um, Room 1015. Basically they sent over a few of their new releases right now for us to check out. So when you get your first Semper in the mail, it comes with this little travel holder kit, which is great if you go on vacation a lot and don't want to bring full bottles of fragrance with yeah, you. Um, but basically it pulls out and it tells you which cologne you have right here. So Mr. Burberry Indigo right here. And then it comes with this little piece of paper that tells you what to expect in the fragrance. So this one has lemon oil, green violet leaf, and dry amber accord. So what's great about this is if you like this fragrance, you can kind of see what notes are in there and look for other fragrances on the site that have similar notes so you can get something like this, but a little different and kind of stay in your comfort zone while trying something new. So what's funny guys is as I got older, my cologne has changed as well. I felt like when I was in high school, I was gravitating more towards like those fruity colognes, a little bit softer. I don't know, I think it was because like everybody was using body sprays and, and it wasn't like as like strong. I felt like my dad like smelled a certain way and I did not want to smell that way. But now as I got older, more of the muskies, the sandalwoods, I'm more like gravitating towards that. So like when I was 18 years old, Tom Ford was nowhere near a cologne that I wanted to use. I mean, Aqua de Parma, not even. But now that I'm in my 30s, it's like Tom Ford smells nice to me. You know, I actually smell like my dad, but it's a good thing now. Yes, guys, I think kind of your scent buds, if that makes any sense, are a lot like your taste buds. Like when I was super younger, I liked everything super sweet and like very, very, kind of strong at each end of the spectrum, like sweet, sour, like heavy. And then now when it comes to cologne, I used to like, you know, kind of things that were familiar to me. And now I like more subtle kind of nuanced flavors that aren't necessarily appealing to the younger palate. Yeah, but I feel like that happened gradually because when I was in my mid twenties, I still kind of liked, you know, that softer cologne and, 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 but I also liked a little bit of the the muskier cologne, you know, the sandalwoods. I keep saying that because that's my, like my style. <laughs> the tobacco, you know. Now that I'm full fledged into my 30s, again, it's changing a little bit more, you know. I don't know, guys. Cologne is very different. It's very specific. We keep saying this, but your mood, your age, and just your style, it's always going to evolve, just like your cologne. Right. Like Blake said, your cologne kind of sets the mood for your style. So there are certain colognes that I really only wear with a suit and tie. Like there, I can't dress down a certain cologne because it, it feels too sophisticated for, you know, just jeans and a t-shirt. It doesn't feel right to me. And I feel like everybody kind of needs their, their everyday bottle of cologne that they use on a regular basis. But what I like Scentbird for is kind of sprinkling in for the different moods that I yes. have because, you know, it's a 30 day supply, but if you don't spray it every day, it lasts, you know, I've had some Scentbird colognes that I've had for, you know, six months because I only wear them when I wear certain types of outfits. Yeah, same thing. So that's why I love Scentbird. I still have my full bottles of cologne, of course, on my shelf, but I love Scentbird to kind of try new things and sprinkle a little bit of fun in my cologne collection. You know, sometimes when you're in a, in a cologne store or a fragrance store and you're smelling like, you know, 60 colognes yeah, at exactly. once, it gets super overwhelming. Your nose kind of goes a little dead. Nothing really smells great to you anymore. And maybe in that one moment, you found something that you're like, I love this. And then you get home and you're like, mm, I remember it smelling completely different <laughs> because I was layered with, you know, six other colognes yep, on my I know arm. What you mean. Yep. And you know, this kind of gives you more than one shot to try things in different situations. Cause I'm going to be honest guys, there's been a few colognes that I've gotten from Scentbird that are, were a little different for me. And I was like, Ooh, this, this doesn't seem like something I'm used to, but then, with, I tried it with different outfits on different occasions and I found kind of 
the days and times where that scent actually works better than what I was used to. I mean, your scent pretty much is like your style. I always say this. Sometimes it's good to just, you know, push the boundaries and try something different, you know. With suiting, I would, before I was very afraid of like those bold colors until I tried it and now I'm like loving it. My scent's pretty much the same way. I don't really wear scents on the daily though. You know, I know someone like you, you wear them whenever you go out and, and George is a full on cologne guy. Like he could tell you like the scents and where they come from and you know, the first of that and this and that. Not me guys, so okay. I love scents, but I wear them for only special occasions and the weekends. All right guys, so before we wrap this up, I kind of want to go over the new fragrances that we got sent from Scentbird. Um, we have the Clive Christian 1872, the Clive Christian X, the Mr. Burberry Indigo, and the Room 1015, 1015 fragrance. So the reason we chose these certain fragrances is because I think they give a variety of different notes in there and they fit a variety of situations. So after kind of smelling all of them, I would say that the Clive Christian 1872 is is dressed up, so you could wear it suited, but you could also wear it, you know, like business casual. Yeah. Like it'd be okay at the office. Um, the Clive Christian X is like a full suit, yep. kind of after the sun goes down kind of vibe. It's a very nighttime, like stronger, stronger fragrance. So you're gonna make a statement. It's, it's gonna grab attention. It is that cologne. It's very like power suit. You go in there to seal the deal. So the Mr. Burberry Indigo is more like your casual version of Mr. Burberry. Mr. Burberry is very like suited as well. Yeah, yeah. But this is like the day at the office, um, also on the weekends at brunch. This is kind of your- Totally brunch. Like yeah, your dude. everyday, you could pull this off every day during the day, no matter what you were wearing. I feel like with that one, with the Mr. Burberry uh, Indigo, you're gonna get a lot of compliments as well. I feel like it's very pleasing to all scent. It's not overwhelming and it's not like too light. Like, I feel like this is a good, even for a date, Yes, and th this is probably a good bridge as well if you're trying to graduate from your more basic fragrances from like high school and early college. This would probably be a nice jump for like your first job. 100%. Um, and then last but not least, the Room 1015. This one is awesome. It's so interesting. It's very like, kind of like a rugged fragrance. It kind of like fits Blake's vibe right now, like denim jacket, yeah. but still kind of dressed up with some boots on. It makes like perfect sense for this outfit. It's very nice. So as you can see, most of these fragrances have some sort of citrus in them, but it's really kind of what the citrus is accented with. Like the cedar wood or the clary sage, the oak moss and the vetiver, the dry amber and the green violet leaf, or even the saffron and the sandalwood, which kind of the accents, I really like citrus based fragrances as yeah. I can tell because of yes. what I picked, <laughs> but it's really what's underneath and the secondary and third notes that really kind of set the fragrances apart from being the, the exact same. All right guys, that pretty much wraps up the video. Thank you to Semperd for sponsoring this video. We have a link to them down below. Please check that out. They will have a discount off your first order. So click the link in our description and check that out. Once again, guys, when you're finding the right cologne to fit your style, you gotta think of your age, what you do for work, what you wear on a regular basis, and then honestly, smell a bunch of different stuff. So try different things. Try to step outside your comfort zone. If you have your, you know, top five fragrances that you like, you can put that into your scent bird kind of profile and they will suggest colognes that are close but not quite to kind of get you outside your comfort zone, trying new things and, you know, expanding your fragrance library. So thanks for watching. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, please subscribe to this channel. It really, really helps us out. We are trying to make it to 150,000 and we're 20K away from Almost it. Almost there. So, you know, if you hit that subscribe button, share this video, um, tell a friend, it really, really helps us out and we very much appreciate it. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers, Cheers guys.